A lot of people are going to pick the wrong answer to this simple geometry question. Let's see how you deal with it. So the problem is what? Well, what's the angle of this line? So we have a line, and does this line have an angle? Well, one of these options right here is correct. So A is 0 degrees, B is 360 degrees, C is 180 degrees, and D is 270 degrees. All right, now if you think you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution here in just one second. Then I'm going to, of course, walk through step by step how we can answer this question. All right, so again, we have a line. And what is the angle to this line? Is it 0 degrees, 360 degrees, 180 degrees, or 270 degrees? All right, so let's take a look at the solution. The correct answer here is C, 180 degrees. All right, now if you got that right, you definitely get an A plus, a happy face, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for paying attention to your geometry teacher when you learned about angles. All right, so C is 180 degrees, and if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, that doesn't make a lot of sense. What's going on here? I thought the answer was maybe zero degrees. Well, let me go ahead and explain the problem right now. So the first thing that we want to do here is define what is an angle. So here is an angle, and of course we have this ray. This is called a ray in geometry because it has a starting point, and it just kind of continues on infinitely in this direction. And then of course we have another ray right here. So when you have two line segments or two rays that form or kind of emanate from one point, this is called an angle, or what we're forming here is an angle. Now this point where both of these rays emanate from is called the vertex, and this is the angle. Now from here to here is the angle measure, right? Now how do we measure angles? Well, typically we measure angles with degrees, but that's not the only way you can measure an angle. And just a quick review of degrees, how many degrees are in a circle? Well, if you said 360 degrees, that is fantastic. All right, so let's just kind of do a quick review here and kind of split this circle in fourths. So here we start at zero degrees, and then we go to what? 90 degrees, and then we continue on to 180 degrees, and hopefully you can kind of see here the, you know, why the answer is 180 degrees. But if we continue on, we end up at 270 degrees, and then when we make a complete lap around the circle, we have uh, completed 360 degrees. Now, just for some general knowledge, for those of you that have not taken a lot of geometry, there are other ways to measure angles in a circle, and that is called a radian. So instead of 360 de 60 degrees in a circle, a circle can also be represented by two pi radians. And we typically use radians in more uh, advanced math like trigonometry. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and keep this nice and simple because we are working with degrees. So from here to here, okay, if we start here and we ended up at 180 degrees, you can see that we have a line. All right, so this is a basic kind of construction of an angle, but uh, let's take a look at some angles here before we get to our actual problem. All right, so here we have a 90 degree right angle. So here's our vertex and here is our ray or rays or our line. And we use this little box notation to indicate that this angle is 90 degrees. So from here to here is 90 degrees or from here to here. Now typically, when angles are what we call in standard position, we like to kind of think of this as the starting point, zero degrees, and we go in a counterclockwise measure. All right, so like for example, 45 degrees would be right here, and we're kind of measuring in this uh, direction, right, counterclockwise, so this is 45 degrees. All right, so 45 and 45, of course, is 90, so 90 degrees is the, uh, the angle of this uh, diagram, right? So this is what we call a right angle. All right, now if we kind of continue to move this ray right here in this direction, we're gonna end up with a what? Well, we're gonna end up with something called an obtuse angle. So when we're talking about angles, you can kind of uh, think of them in this manner. So here is a right angle, 
Angles that are less than 90 degrees like this or like this, real sharp angles, these are called acute angles. All right, so we have acute angles and as our angles are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, eventually we're going to hit a 90 degree angle. This is called a right angle. But as we continue on, we're getting very wide angles and these type of angles are called obtuse angles. So this is an example of an obtuse angle right here. So here is our vertex. We start here at zero degrees. We're going to go past 90 degrees. And of course, this would be, for example, like 120 degrees. OK, so hopefully you're kind of getting the picture here. And this is bigger than 90 degrees. But as we continue to open this up, eventually we're going to get to a straight line. So from here to here is what? Well, if you notice, we kind of have a right angle here and a right angle here. So this is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees. Of course, the entire angle of a, of a line will be 180 degrees. All right, so the vertex would be like right here. Now, if you answered zero degrees, of course, that's kind of a logical uh, answer. But of course, it is wrong. All right, now, if you need additional help in geometry, I have a ton of geometry videos on my YouTube channel. But if you are very serious about uh, learning geometry, you may want to check out my full geometry course. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.